teachers are starting to understand that they have to have a little bit more empathy towards students. Um, realizing that if a student is coming in the building and they're acting out, maybe ask, hey, what's going on? When a student comes to my classroom and I see that they're upset and they are just, you know, you can just tell, you can see it all over them. I don't need to attack them right away because they're tardy. I can wait, let them sit down, let them get settled, then walk over them and privately talk to them and ask them what's going on. Me and Miss Hudson talk a lot. Uh, she kind of helps uh, bring me back into reality when I kind of um, get involved in some things I shouldn't be involved in. I feel like that's a very uh, great impact in my life right now. Like, I need somebody to like help me stay on track because I tend to lose focus a lot. I think that in the uh, Common Core curriculum, there isn't enough focus on the social emotional behavior and what students are going through at home. And Ms. Hudson is always sensitive to those things. Those students see the world through a different type of lens. So I may be looking like, Johnny, why are you not here with your book bag and your pencil? And he might be thinking and looking at me like, woman, do you know what I had to do to get to school today? I got suspended and um, they were talking about, you know, moving me to a different school that can further suit my needs. Ms. Hudson worked out something with me. Uh, we talked about how we could um, work something out with my dean and make promises that way I won't have to go to that other school and stuff. And, you know, I'm still in Thornwood. And, um, my behavior is a lot better. Ms. Hudson is the ideal of what the school system needs. Like, educators have to come out of the box. We cannot focus only on the curriculum. We have to focus on the children and the family as a whole. And Ms. Hudson does an excellent job doing that. We get it. This calculus is important, but if he's hungry, he's not learning. If he's got an abusive family member at home, he's not thinking about this. He's thinking about his safety. And, and those are things we just have to be aware of as teachers. This is another hat we have to wear. A lot of times when I was struggling at home, going through personal issues at home, or just at school in general, she was always there to talk to. I could always lean on her. She would always give me helpful advice about school and life in general. For me, it's innate. I don't want to see anyone leave this building without a plan. Because then, if I leave them to go without a plan, what's going to happen? 